Juan Martín del Potro has been one of the most dedicated and hard-working players on the tour in the last 10 years or so. Nonetheless, injuries and all kind of bad luck have always accompanied the Tandle native, preventing him from achieving more and fight for an even better place under the tennis world sun. In 2017, Del Potro was able to play almost the entire season from the end of February, building form and momentum that had carried him towards more significant results in 2018, claiming the first Masters 1000 title at Indian Wells and becoming world number three for the first time in a career. As always before, the Argentine couldn't stay under the sunshine for too long, retiring at Shanghai Masters against Borna Korik due to a right knee injury and playing only one event in the next seven months, that brought him nothing good. Determined to make another comeback, Del Potro had fought in Madrid, Rome, two match points wasted against Djokovic and Roland Garros, finding the physical strength and strokes again ahead of grass swing that he kicked off from Queens. In the challenging opening round, Juan Martin defeated struggling Canadian Denis Shapovalov 7-5, 6-4 in an hour and 16 minutes, offering no break points and stealing the youngsters' serve once in each set for a rock solid triumph. Both players had more winners than unforced errors, and it was the Argentine who delivered the better tennis when he needed it the most, creating three break chances and converting two to secure the place in the next round where he was supposed to play against Feliciano Lopez. After 10 commanding holds on both sides, Juan Martin broke at 15 for a 6 5 lead when Dennis hit a double fault, closing the opener with an ace down the T line in the next game for a 7 5. Serving a 2-2 in set number 2, Shapovalov sprayed a forehand error to suffer a break, allowing Del Potro to move over the top with another booming serve in game 10. As it turned out, the crucial moment of the entire week for Del Potro happened in the 8th game of the second set when he injured a right knee while chasing Shapovalov's volley, slipping near the net and feeling an instant pain. After further tests, Juan Martin had to withdraw from the event, hoping the injury is not that serious and that will be ready for Wimbledon that starts in 10 days. It is a great shame that Juan Martin has been forced to withdraw. The crowd loves him here, just as they do all over the world. We wish him a full and speedy recovery and hope to see him back here next year. Tournament director Stephen Farrow said, Let's block ads. Why?